Okay, very well. Let me go ahead to our website. And again, this is our website, so it's already there. Uh, just sit down and listen and do not write anything down. Okay, so I want to go back to the 114th prime of the form that if you add 2 to this prime, you're going to get a semi-prime. These are a class of numbers, okay, and they have indices. The 114th one is 1709. As we saw last week, if I rewrote it, rewrote it here. Okay, the hundred fourteenth such prime is, as I said, seventeen oh nine. Seventeen oh nine happens to be the total sum of the numerical values of the thirty Quranic initials. Again, I want to stress this. There are 29 initial surahs, but there are 30 individual initials, sets of initials, okay? Because chapter 42 has two sets of initials. Okay. 1709 happens to be 267th prime number. And so... Two hundred sixty seventh regular prime happens to be thirty one thirty seven and thirty one thirty seven happens to be the four hundred forty six prime and four hundred forty six um and I made a mistake here this is wrong four hundred forty six is the three hundred fifty ninth composite three hundred fifty nine is an emir not seventeen oh nine 359 is a MIRP, and his MIRP is 953. And 953 third composite is 1143, which is 9 times 127. So, then sets of initials in the Quran, if you add up all of the numerical values, you are going to get 1709. That connects it immediately to chapter 9 having 127 verses. Okay? So, again, this is a huge blessing for us. That we actually see this. We are witnessing this. This witnessing of this fact is, is as I said, it's like a view to paradise. Okay, as I've been saying. So this view is a beautiful view, and and it gives us the the unique honor and privilege that we have today, that we are the recipient of this. Okay, so come down here and. 446 composite happens to be 548, but 548 added the prime is 9127. Okay. So God keeps telling us about this. So see, this 446 is is strategically put in here. Okay. In order to tell you in two different languages, language of factorization, which is nine times one to seven, and language of specific primes and their indices, which again, 548 additive prime happens to be nine one two seven. Additive primes are the primes that the prime number itself, if you add up this digit, is going to be a prime number. So here, nine one two seven adds up to nineteen, and nineteen is a prime number. So nine one two seven is 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 considered an additive prime. And it happens to be 548 additive prime. <coughs> okay. And that's amazing. So I'll go ahead and fix that, inshallah, for that one. Okay, so with this in mind, with this whole thing in mind, okay, then you see how important it is for us to literally and practically follow God's commandments in the Quran. We cannot add or subtract things from ourselves. Okay. I mean, we have to ask those questions. What are these things coming from? Do they have any Quranic base? Why do different people of different sex do it differently? And somehow they get along with one another. And somebody comes in there and says, oh, follow just the Quran, then everybody jumps on him. Why is it like this? Why is it that only the truth is the odd man out? That everybody has to jump on the truth? When somebody tells you that? When somebody tells, tells the people that 
this is the way you're supposed to do it? Because that's what God says in the Quran. Again, we don't do that. The consequences are grave. And this is just the start. The humiliation stuff is just the start here in this worldly life. Okay. And so, when the hereafter comes, it's just going to come for everybody. Okay. Every day we're going to get closer to that time, to the hereafter. And when that time comes, when that situation arises, that's where the real torment is going to come in. Now, didn't you know this? Didn't somebody tell you this? Yes, they did, but we ignored and we jumped on him and everything. Okay? So, you know, in chapter 49, he said, do not raise your voice about the voice of the prophet. Okay? So what do you think they are doing? That's what they are doing. They are raising their voice about the voice of the prophet. Because the Quran was, came out of the prophet's mouth, and they don't like it. They don't like it. When the prophet went to Hajj, did he go to his own tomb? So where that all comes from as part of the ritual of Hajj? He shouldn't be there. So, again, we have to come to the understanding in our own minds and between us and God and no one else. Forget about everybody else. It doesn't matter. Okay? We are not here to make somebody happy or sad or whatever. It's not. Okay? We want to worship God alone. That's the key. And if that's the case, then we have to obey and believe in God alone. That's another thing. Believe in God alone. That means we believe everything that He says. If He says this, that's what we have to do. No more, no less. So, again, the decision is up to us. God has, has shown us all these paths, and God says some are the wrong ones, just for your freedom of choice. But you have that freedom to choose. And accordingly, he is going to, he's going to reward or punish for those kind of things that, that we choose. Okay. Okay, I'm going to stop here and we'll finish our drama. Okay.